How's it going, everybody? Nerds Rising here, and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In today's video, guys, we are unfortunately going to be diving right into the Little Cup. Now, first of all, I want to say, in general, I do actually like the 500 CP format. I just think it allows us to use mons that we most of us probably never would use in any other cup unless there's anyone crazy out there that's running like a level 51 seal in the great league but for the most part i do like it just adding some variety to the game and really the game is in desperate need of something new right now so i'm not going to be hating on the 500 cp cup but the little cup is a whole different story i'm sure you guys who have been playing it know exactly what i'm talking about we might as well just call it the bronzor cup or the why not cup because there's some mons in this cup that are just absolutely broken and nearly like I would say 90% of everybody is running and you know what you can't judge them because Bronzor has like a 99.5 rating on PvP. It's basically unstoppable, especially if you have the level 50. It, it, I think it has like a 93% win rate in the two shielding scenario. So it's literally a broken mon and it makes the battles very not fun we'll just say. So we're playing it anyway, simply just because I literally still have no mons eligible for the level 50 Master League. So, unless I felt like getting destroyed with level 40 mons, then we're going to be playing the Little Cup. Unless one of you guys wants to send me some Master League footage. So, without any further ado, really, we're just going to be jumping right into this meta. And as you see, I am running a fairly meta backline, but on the lead, we are running the Spicy Bite Shadow Nidoran. And this thing, as you guys are going to see is going to take some mons off guard and we are going to destroy some bronzors and some why nots and really there's not too many things better than seeing those mons get wrecked in this meta so let's jump right into the battles and i think we do have like almost two sets and these are still pretty fast just because these mons are fairly glassy so why not lead here and you guys will see this on most teams as well. So what I like to do here is just build up to their mirror coat and then catch it on the seal because seal is very, very bulky. So we catch the mirror coat. That does not do very much damage. And the opponent's going to bring in their own seal, which is perfectly fine because our Dino in the back doesn't really want to see this. So we're just going to go straight Icy Wind here. And since they took a second to switch out, we will outpace them. And these debuffs are going to add up. And the opponent actually is taking a while to throw their Icy Wind as well, which, as you're going to see, despite being behind on health, the fact that we're getting these Icy Winds off so much quicker actually is going to make this a pretty close fight. And honestly, I don't care about losing Switch here because both of our remaining Mons do fairly well against Why Not. Even though the counters do hit the Dino for super effective, they really just don't do that much damage. As you see, we almost actually take Switch there. The Seals lives on like 1 HP, and we're actually able to snipe with one bite which is amazing because the seal had a lot of energy there. So we're now still in even shields and this why not's coming back in and just look at those bites just absolutely shred this why not you love to see it. So bites from a poison type shredding a psychic type. And once again, we're going to catch the mirror coat. This time it's going to be double resisted on the Dino and that does absolutely no damage whatsoever. And the opponent has a bronzor in the back so this opponent was running a very standard meta team with why not and bronzer on the team and they're about to get crushed by a dino and a shadow nidoran with bite so this one as you see is actually running tackle which is a little bit worse for us but honestly we're doing so much damage here with these dragon breasts and we actually get the debuff as well so now with two shields especially since they're not running confusion we're very easily going to be able to just bite this thing all the way down we probably will actually throw i'm guessing we'll probably throw a body sim yeah because it's going to do a little bit more than a poison fang and at this point we can easily just double shield and since we caught the move on the why not it's energy dry they do try to catch there but it wouldn't have mattered either way and yeah they surrender so we force a uh, a bronze or to surrender in the first game and you love to see it so moving into the next battle and again these battles are pretty quick just because stuff's pretty glassy in the little cup so that's at least one thing even though the mon the uh, mons and the meta are kind of lame at the very least you can get some very quick battles in just because of how squishy everything is so we have a volumey lead and honestly i wasn't sure the counts on brave bird so i did respect it and figuring that if they're staying in i might as well shield the first move anyway since we're going to be icy winding them but then again they uh they shield and they're going to bring in their own seal so this is perfect and I believe we did get a one lick head start. So again, we're going to get to this Icy Wind first. And 
the debuff really, even though the move itself doesn't do much damage, the debuff really is going to add up. It's going to lower this Icy Wind's damage, and then the licks are really going to add up quite a bit. So our goal again here is just going to be to get this thing low, and they actually throw energy. They could have probably farmed down there, but they throw, and this is perfect. And since they throw... I'm now hoping that these bites are going to get this seal out of here before they get to another move. And we do. Those bites just do so much damage. And they bring back in the Vullaby, but Vullaby, despite being a pretty bulky mon, is not going to be appreciating these shadow moves from the Nidoran. And do we actually get a shield here? We actually do get a shield. At this point, I'm just going to stay in, let them take me out, and then save a shield from my Dino. Because you know what? They had a Dark type on the lead, so very likely going to have a Bronzer in the back. Because... There's pretty much always a Bronzer in the back. And sure enough, there's the Bronzer. And we have a Dark type waiting for it. And this is going to be a GG. And this is also a Confusion Bronzer as well. So there's literally just nothing they can do. Even if they're running Heavy Slam, we can absolutely tank this Heavy Slam if it's going to be one. And it's not even a Heavy Slam. It's a Payback. And we're just easily going to get to this move. And do I actually decide to farm up? Yeah, I think I do farm up and throw just before they get to their next move. Just so I have some residual energy. But... This game was over anyway, and I think we're just going to be able to get to a... Yeah, oh, actually, I think I go for the Crunch BM here, yeah. You know what, guys? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you do see that I occasionally like to BM my opponents. And again, I really do mean no disrespect, but sometimes you got to just have a little fun because that's what this game is about, is just having some fun. So we crunch the Vullaby for the win in that game. And again, another Why Not? So just Why Not's everywhere, Bronzor's everywhere. And of course, this time they actually switch into their Bronzor, which, to be honest isn't quite as good for us because when a bronzer switches in and gets that slight energy head start really there's just very few things in the game that want to see it as you see despite the fact that we're double resisting the confusions and the paybacks are still resisted that payback still did quite a bit of damage and we're gonna need another crunch to take this thing out and if they want to they could actually probably double shield here and pressure my shields as well so they probably will just let it go yeah they do let it go which is fine but unfortunately they're going to get a nice farm here with the why not and nidoran in a fresh fight does pretty decent against why not but if the why not has an energy lead then those those mirror coats despite being an atrocious move actually will add up so i actually bring the seal in here and we just have to hope that they have something in the back that our nidoran can handle um i'm kind of hoping it's like a duck lid or something but we'll have to see and Seal here has a pretty decent matchup as well. As you see, all three of our Mons can hit Why Not and Bronzer for super effective damage. The Elixir on the Seal, the Bites on the Nidoran, and then the uh, the Crunches on the Dino. But unfortunately, they have their own Dino in the back. And since we're running Bite on the Nidoran, there's just really not a whole lot we can do here, unfortunately. Because Bites are resisted. Their Dragon Breasts are just going to be absolutely shredding us. I do Shield. I get my Poison Thing off, but as you're going to see... This Dino here can just fully farm us down, and yeah, this is going to be a GG. If we had Poison Sting there, we would probably have been able to make that a little bit closer, but at this point, I think I just let this go. Yeah, I think I just let it. No, actually, I do shield. Not really sure why I shielded there, honestly. I think maybe, yeah, I was trying to commit to the farm down there, but yeah, I should have just let that go because that game was very much over. So as you see, I did leave a loss in there just to show you guys. Despite going positive with this team, I think I went like 8 and 10 with it, like... Still, there's just some team comps that are just impossible to win against. So, in this battle, we had a Bite Stunky, and then they come in with their Bronzer. There's always a Bronzer, guys. There just always is. So, in this battle, I actually don't go for the Aqua Tails, because I realize that Bronzer is just so thick that these Aqua Tails just really... It, with, with that big of a health disparity on our seal, I knew we weren't going to be taking Switch advantage. So, what I wanted to do, instead of throwing the the Aqua Tails and still not taking Switch, I actually just elect to triple debuff them here with Icy Winds, and basically what I can do now is just come in here with my Nidoran, tank all this damage, and then farm down. So that's why I did that. It does look like maybe if I would have Aqua Tailed, I could have potentially forced a shield off of them, but at the same time, if I don't Icy Wind them, I probably don't survive long enough to get to three Aqua Tails anyway. So I Icy Wind them, as you see, they're actually running Payback and Heavy Slam, and we still have a good amount of health on our Nidoran here. So we farm down, and we bring in our Dino, and they have a Ducklet in the back. And they don't, they don't even build up to a Brave Bird here. They just go straight for the Bubble Beam. And this is not the play trainer. They're going straight Bubble Beam, and we're just going to go, I think, for the Crunch here. Maybe thinking that they could live a Body Slam, thinking they would call the move. And they don't. They do shield it. But at this point, 
I think we should be okay here because these bites are resisted and we're going to force their sh their second shield here and then Nidoran with two shields is just going to close this game out. And actually they decide to let that go and since they let that go now Nidoran is just going to bite them all the way down. And here I think the opponent just realizes that Brave Birding Me is probably their win con having me try to call a bubble beam. And yeah, I, I'm easily just going to shield that and bite down and that is going to be a good game. So jumping right into the next battle here. And hopefully these, these battles aren't too boring for you guys, considering, again, it's like the same mons on every team. And this time we have a Dino lead, which is pretty tricky. Our Nidoran really does not like to see that. So we bring in the Seal. Seal is typically going to be our safe switch. And they're actually going to stay in and throw a Body Slam on me. So, again, I was kind of expecting a catch there, so I did over farm slightly. But, again, they're staying in. So we're going to get this Icy Wind off. Probably is going to get the Shield. And now they bring in a Shelmet, which is kind of a cool pick. Um, this thing is extremely spammy. And this is not enough for a bug buzz, so they're just going straight body slam here, and this is fine because infestation is not a very high fast move pressure move in terms of damage, so they're not going to have a very good time trying to farm us down here, so probably are going to be forced to throw again, and yeah, they realized I was going to get to another move, so they're forced to throw, and again, I'm hoping here that my Nidoran can come in here and farm down before they get to another one, but unfortunately, they do get to another one, so... Nidoran, despite being a shadow, as you're going to see here, does have a respectable amount of bulk. I mean, to be fair, that the, sh the Shelmet was debuffed by our Icy Wind, but we still tank that pretty well, and the Dino does come back in, and unfortunately, we do lose CMP here, and I do want to get their shield here, so I actually am going to shield up myself, and hope that by shielding this up, I can get their last shield, and now... After I do get their shield here, I'm going to aggressively bring in my own Dino, and they come in with a Ducklet, and Dino hits pretty dang hard, so I farm up to just before they get to the Brave Bird, and I think if this Crunch doesn't KO, we lose the game, but it KOs, we farm down the Dino, and that is another GG. So as you see, that one just flew right by, but uh, my rank 1, by the way, my rank 1 Dino there clutched out that endgame for us, and you love to see a Ducklet get smacked, so Bronzor lead here. I do have two better answers in the back, so I will switch in the seal, and the opponent brings in a ducklet, which is totally fine. Ducklet, not the best answer with an energy disadvantage to a seal, especially since if they want to take us out, they're going to have to Brave Bird us, and I do debuff them. So here I was kind of thinking that they might just full send it, knowing they're, that they're debuffed, and at the last second I do shield, and they do full send it, so really nice shield there, and now I can just fully lick them down, and just like that, we have switch advantage, and they have their own seal in the back, so pretty much in this cup, what you guys are probably going to notice is that oftentimes these battles are decided very early on, so now that we have alignment, their confusion Bronzor is going to be aligned to our Dino, and after we chip this seal here, we can just send in the Bite Nidoran and basically just sacrifice it, and then Dino is just going to destroy the Bronzor in the back. So uh, they actually go for an Aqua Tail there. It doesn't even KO, and they're double debuffed as well, and I get to another Aqua Tail. So Seal is just an absolute monster in this cup on 1 HP, and look at how low they are now. They're saving two shields for their Bronzor, but that is not going to save them because Dino is waiting for it in the back, and... We farm them all the way down, and here I actually think I just decide to stay in with the Nidoran just to see how much those bites do. Look at how much the bites do, and then I switch out. I transfer that last confusion onto my Dino. So we actually do have the Nidoran alive with a move in the back, and they're already at half health, and they go for the Psy Shock as well, and that literally does nothing. And honestly, I could probably just farm them all the way down and not even throw a move, but I think I do throw moves here. Do I throw moves? Yeah, I do throw moves. Just thinking maybe they'll just let it go and just make this game shorter. But as you're going to see, they shield. They're wanting to drag this out, even though the game is very much over. And yeah, I'll just shield myself. All I have to do now is just get their last shield. And I have the body slam loaded on the Nidoran. So at this point, I think that they do just finally concede and just let this through. And yeah, they do. So Again, opponent saving two shields for Bronzor, and we have three pretty nice answers to Bronzor. So, jumping into the next battle, and I think we only have a couple left, guys. So, uh, Shadow Stunky, which is kind of a scary pick. I actually did see quite a few of those uh, after Jonkus put out his Shadow Stunky video earlier. I think it was earlier this morning, so... We're going to go straight for the Icy Wind. We do pretty dramatically outpace them because Bite is just not a great move for energy generation. And they bring a Cotton into our, our seal, which is absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make the Icy Wind, so I'm forced to settle for the uh, Aqua Tail here. But as you're going to see, 
I actually survived that charm on one HP, so I actually could have gotten the Icy Wind, but this is totally fine because this is the fact that we lured out this Cottony is absolutely perfect because if it got aligned to our Dino in the end game, Dino gets slapped down in like three charms. So the nice thing here as well is the fact that we're running Bite gives us a lot of extra farm. So we actually come out of here with quite a bit of energy and Stunky is quite glassy. So despite this being resisted, I actually do quite a bit of damage and this is going to let me get a very nice farm down with my Dino. What do they have in the back? They have a seal and with a shield advantage, we're going to absolutely destroy this seal. So here you could probably argue I should have just gone for the body slam, but I was thinking that this game was in the bag. So maybe I'll get the debuff and I do get the shield and the debuff. And now this second move is going to absolutely destroy this seal. And that is going to be another GG. So again, as you see guys, our, uh, our Nidoran with bite, and our Dino just doing so much damage and the seal perfectly drawing out their best answer to the Dino and back which is exactly what this team is designed for and that's another GG so I think we've got one more battle and what do we have a Dino again so pretty rough lead for us so we'll be bringing in the seal right away and hopefully the opponent actually stays in here which would be amazing because our Dino doesn't really love to take dragon breast from the opposing dino so they do throw the body slam which makes sense and we're gonna get the icy wind off right away and either grab the shield or basically one shot them and we do grab a shield so we're in even shields now and as you see despite our licks being resisted they actually are still doing a pretty respectable amount of damage And at this point i'm just gonna let this go and look to farm down with my own dino unfortunately not gonna get to another move but since they're debuffed we will be able to tank these dragon breasts okay especially since we do have the rank 1 Dino, so we're going to farm all the way down. We don't take too much damage, and I'm just expecting that there's going to be a Bronzorn back. They bring in a Ducklet, actually, and what you're going to see here is, again, the opponent is just going to go straight for the, uh, the Bubble Beam here, so not the play. So I'll tank the Bubble Beam, and now I'm going to bring in my Bite Nidoran. And what do they have in the back? They have a Dust Skull in the back, and this is a Ghost type that would normally fully wall us, but since we're running Bite, they are not even going to get to two moves. We're going to fully bite down a ghost type with a poison type and come out of here with a move loaded. And we're just going to go straight poison fang now. And these bites are going to do so much damage after this debuff. And I think the opponent's only play here is to come out of here with two moves. And they don't even get the farm down. We just fully bite down the ducklet. And that is another G to the G. So pretty short video today, guys. Again, little cup pretty rps as you saw a lot of those games were decided pretty early on but uh i wanted to, to run something a little bit off meta just to have a little bit of fun i i would say the team overall i didn't get a big enough sample size to really recommend the team or not i think i went overall like 8 and 11 on the day so i definitely think that the back line has play the shadow nidoran is just kind of tricky to use um so yeah, take this team with a grain of salt, I'll just say that. But uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the battles, because this is just a cup that is in desperate need for something fresh. So, thanks again for watching, and uh, I will probably get a couple more little cups out to you guys in the next week or so. But again, if somebody wants to send me some Master League footage, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're just going to be doing our best in the little cup here. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, guys, if you're not subscribed... Do consider uh, subscribing. The channel has been experiencing a lot of growth lately, and I've very much enjoyed seeing that. Um, and as always, remember, the more subscribers we can get, the more Pokemon my wife will let me play.